now Take a step outside and seize the day now Set aside your worries, it's so Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be working on doing a deep clean in my kitchen. If you guys are new around here, we recently moved into this house and we are renting it, but I haven't gone through and done a true like deep clean, like wipe the outside of the cabinets and the inside and everything. Um, so I wanna go ahead and do that. If you guys remember when we first moved in, I did put some liner in the drawers. Well, now I wanna go through and put the same marble liner in the bottom shelving or the bottom cabinets. So the top shelving, I do wanna eventually put that like shelf liner that it's a little bit of a cushion, but I don't have any on hand today and I really wanna get this done. So I'm just gonna whip through, clean everything. But part of my motivation to do this, I'm like so excited. So I'm constantly looking for renter's hacks to make things look a little bit more my style. And one thing that definitely is not my style and it's a little bit out of date is the hardware in this kitchen. Well, I found something completely perfect on Amazon and I'm gonna go ahead and say that I feel like this is definitely a renter's hack. You all know that the thing that's on trend is like the bigger handles, which if that is not the way that your cabinets are set up, you actually have to like patch the little hole of the whatever handle was there before and then like drill new holes for a larger handle. Well, with a rental property, you definitely don't wanna do that unless, you know, your landlord would be okay with that and even so I don't know I just feel like it would you know obviously be damaging or changing their property which I don't want to do but I found something on Amazon that I'm so excited about this is not sponsored by them but I'm definitely leaving a link below and that is these little knobs I'm gonna open this one up I've started on a few of my cabinets but as I go through and clean them, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. So all of the knobs in this kitchen are just a one whole knob. Like they're not a bar or a handle, but these are so cute. They just look like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you in a second like the before and after of what they look like. My kitchen is a disaster right now because I fell asleep last night, did not get my nighttime routine done. That happens to me like Probably I would say three times a week. I don't actually do all of my dishes at night. Um, I had done earlier yesterday. Anyways, big pile of dishes. Great for motivation and good to get it all cleaned up to deep clean. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. And the best part about it all is these are super, super inexpensive on Amazon. Super inexpensive. And they give you that kind of like modern look without having to drill holes or anything like that. And the greatest part is that when you're renting, um, hardware is super easy to change out. So you just unscrew the screw on the back, pull it out, put this in, and then when you go to move, you can just put the original hardware right back on. It doesn't damage anything, and it's just a fun way to change up your kitchen look. Here is what the current hardware looks like. Obviously, a little bit out of date. And then here is what the new knobs look like. I am so thrilled with this. I feel like it's gonna change the whole look of the kitchen, and I've done half of the kitchen, and what I decided is I'm going to get all of my dishes done and then I'll be able to do the other half. I don't know, that's just the way that I am with goals. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I hope this gives you a lot of motivation. I used to stay up all night, trying to find my place. Chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace. To leave me out of darkness, give me a little faith. Something to make me stronger, someone who could like the way. Then you came to me and you gave me reason. can't believe it every time we touch I feel at home there's no way I'd ever let you go when you put your hands in mine I know I'm gonna be alright I don't know what you do to me but I feel like I am wake up in the sky when you put your hands in mine I know I'm gonna be alright if you see a little bit of movement, it's just my daughter is walking around. I know sometimes people are like, I think I saw something move in your house in my cleaning videos. And yes, I have three children. So of course they're there. Um, sometimes they're in their room playing or just in a different room than what I'm filming cleaning. And so that's why sometimes you don't see them. 
and sometimes you do. So I don't know if you guys are like me, but I love goals. And today, like I said, my goal was to get the dishes done before I changed out the other half of the knobs. And this was super simple to do. And I actually wiped it all down with a Norwex cloth. If you guys have never heard of Norwex, they're like a microfiber cloth and they do such a good job. I can actually kind of compare them to a Mr. Clean eraser because the micro cloth is so tiny, like the threads are so tiny it cleans off like dirt and grime absolutely great so of course on cabinets it's really great and it actually kind of lightened these cabinets a little bit this day i know that sounds kind of crazy but it really did it cleaned them so so well So I did the drawers like I said and I actually had organized them already and everything so I just wiped them out and then I also wiped out my silverware container you know how that needs to be done every couple weeks it just gets little crumbs and stuff in there and then I also kind of decluttered my straw situation I had a handful of them that I don't use and I just got rid of them and also moved the girls little straws up to where the lids are for their sippy cups and then this cabinet <laughs> was my most dreaded cabinet of the day I knew it was down there I knew it was a mess and I knew I was gonna have to do something with it so it's where my container are and in our other house I kind of had a pretty good system on how I kept everything all cleaned up but I needed to come up with a new one so I wanted to share with you this little hack when it comes to putting contact paper down I only tear the edge off the back um, just so that it doesn't stick the whole way across the shelf so that when you go to replace it or to remove it is really easy to pull up and it's not actually sticky in the middle so you're gonna see me do this through all of the cabinets on the bottom that I only tear probably about three inches off of the edge of the back if that makes sense and then it makes the whole thing not sticky just the edges I can hide This is the cupboard that we keep all of our drinkware, obviously. And whenever we moved in, I had um, some friends helping me out and they were like, we're just gonna throw this stuff up here. You can move it around then when you want to. Well, that was like over a month ago and we've just kind of kept everything where they put it. So I got up there and just kind of moved things around to where they're more convenient for us and how I wanted it to be. And I also added some mason jars in because we do use those on a regular basis. And it was just kind of a pain to go to storage every time we needed one. So I just wanted them in reach um, so that we could quickly access them. This is another area that I had organized during our move just because we use it so much. And that's under my sink. I have this basket for hand towels and dish towels and then storage for my cleaning things that I use regularly in the kitchen. This cabinet is kind of like our health cabinet, I guess. It has my supplements in it and my essential oils. It's just something that we have to have in the kitchen because we use it all so often. And it's just something I've learned that needs to be within reach. 
This is our junk drawer. I've done my very best to keep this organized. I go through it pretty much weekly and get rid of stuff that gets thrown in here. And it's just something, again, that's a must have in a kitchen. All right, here is our spice area. I haven't gotten a lot of spices since we moved, so I will be doing a reorganization of that. And then these are just baking items and random things that I like to keep in mason jars. This is where I keep my cooking utensils. It's great right next to the stove, and I honestly don't like anything more than that. I really declutter that a lot and just keep what fits in that drawer. I'm so happy that I got all of this done today. It just is such a great feeling and I'm gonna leave you with a clip of my pantry. I'm not gonna go into great detail because I've shown it to you guys before and I wanted to thank you for watching this video. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a like and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.